In this video, we're talking all about the Magic Eraser tool inside of Canva. We'll look at how it's really a content aware eraser, but under certain situations, you can force it to just be a natural eraser where it erases to transparency. So the Magic Eraser in Canva, let's get into it. As a reminder, this video is part of a tutorial series on the latest AI tools in Canva. So if you wanna check out some of those other videos and learn all about the different AI tools in Canva, just check the description below this video and you'll find links to all the different videos that are part of this series. As a second reminder, I do have a couple of free giveaways that are compliments to this learning series. So I have my Canva AI tool guide, which is just a quick visual reference to really go over the each tool, where to find it, how to use it, tips for using the tool. So just an easy reference you can have handy whenever you're working with these tools. And then the second free giveaway is my visual style guide, which is really going to help you start to learn the language you can use when prompting and creating AI images to really get a variety of great results. So it's going to give you over 100 keywords, descriptions to go along with those, and it's going to really help you start to build that sort of visual language and that library of terms, you need to get great results. So I'm going to put a link in the first pinned comment below and also in the description below this video, sign up for my email and you can get those free guides. The next Magic Studio Canva AI tool we're going to talk about is the Magic Eraser. Now this works a lot like the Magic Grab tool in some respects, it's different, but again, we're going to talk about what are the differences and does this tool even make sense to use a lot? So let's go in here and click on this photo here. And once again, we're gonna find this tool by going under the edit menu. And then here under this Magic Studio section, we will see this Magic Racer. And once again, the crown icon. So yes, this is another uh, Pro Canva feature. Okay, so if I click on this tool, we enter this Magic Erase dialog. And much like the Magic Grab tool, you have the option for clicking on a section that it automatically finds, or you can brush the own, own section where you want to use the magic eraser. And with the magic eraser, it's in essence like content aware fill, which you have in programs like Photoshop, where you're selecting an area of the photo that you want to get rid of. And then based on the pixels, uh, the rest of the pixels in the photo, it's going to use that artificial intelligence to try to smartly replace the pixels that you're telling it to replace. So in this scene here, let's, for example, say I want to get rid of this tree. Uh, so first I could check this click option. So if you click on this, you're going to sort of see it process and flash with those blue purple colors there. And then you have different areas you can select to get rid of. So I can select this tree if I want to get rid of this tree. And of course you can combine these two uh, tools here. So I can click on something to select it. We'll see it selected. And then I can also brush to select more of an area here. And again, once again, up here, you can adjust the brush size. So I can choose a brush size like this and add to my selected area, just making sure I get the shadow. Cause if we don't have the tree there, we obviously are not going to want this shadow there. So let me select something like that. And then once you have an area selected and you're ready to replace those pixels, then you can go ahead and hit this erase option. And this is where the artificial intelligence is going to examine the whole scene and come in here and figure out which areas to erase. So I'm going to go ahead and click that now. We're going to see it processing using that uh, artificial intelligence. And then let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it has done a good job replacing that uh, tree uh, just based on the rest of the scene. So now if we wanted to have this photo just a clear hill with no tr uh, tree there, we've effectively done that. Now, the one thing I'll say to watch out for with this tool here, uh, let me hit control Z. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and hit control shift Z to redo what I did. Cause I just want to exit this dialogue for a second, just so I can move around a little bit more easily in my scene. And so if I zoom in here and then we just look at this area, uh, the only thing I'll say is I sometimes find with this magic eraser that you get a little bit of a soft area when it replaces those pixels. It's not always great at replicating the noise in the photo. So a lot of times this tool works and you can get away with it, uh, but be a little careful and make sure it does match your scene enough uh, as needed. Now this is going to depend on your final use for the photo. Sometimes it's going to be fine, but if you're being really, really precise, sometimes it isn't always a perfect match. Now if I hit control Z, we can see it come back and then control shift, shift Z. So again, I'm just using the keyboard shortcuts here for our undo, redo. So that's control uh, shift Z, uh, control Z to redo, control shift excuse me, control shift C to redo and control Z to undo. Uh, just so if we look at this area right here in particular, when I hit control shift C, we can see pretty good, but maybe a little bit of a soft focus there. Okay. So that's how this tool works. You tell it the area that you want it to replace. It examines the whole scene and it replaces that area. Now, the one thing I will say, let me just hit control Z to undo this is that 
do we really even need to use this tool? Because the magic grab tool essentially does the same thing where when you grab an area that you paint on, it then basically uses the magic eraser on the other area in that it replaces the pixels. And so of course I could also do that for this tree. So let me zoom out here. Uh, as we learned in the last video on the magic wrap tool, I could also just click on here. I could come in here and use this magic eraser and I'm using this exactly the same way, essentially, uh, excuse me, the magic, let me back out because I chose the magic eraser again. What I meant, meant to do is choose this magic grab tool. Uh, and like I said, you could essentially use this the same way as the magic eraser. Of course, we are going to have this tree on a layer, which gives us a little bit more flexibility if we do want to use it. But when I choose the magic grab tool, just like with the magic eraser, we're going to get a new layer here that doesn't have this area in it because it's going to grab that layer, remove it. But of course I can delete it. And then essentially we have this area here. Now it looks like it pretty much did the same sort of uh, job as the other thing. Uh, so the only reason I mentioned this is because sometimes I do find that when I use the magic eraser tool, I don't get a great result, but then when I use the magic wrap tool, it actually does a better job. So uh, I don't know if I've done this enough to make a definitive statement that magic wrap just works better, but certainly for me, sometimes I do feel like I get a better result. So just keep in mind that you do have these two tools. If one of them is not working, you can always try another tool. So let's work through another example just to look at this magic eraser even more. Uh, I mentioned a couple other things you might want to know about it. So let's come in here again. And on this photo here, we're going to come in here once again. Again, I will choose edit. Let's say we want to get rid of this shell here. So let's go under the magic eraser. Again, if you do click, it's going to auto find some things. Now it didn't find, it found this shell. It did not find this shell. So again, this click option is going to analyze your photo, find some of the subjects, but not always all the subjects. So then you can come in here and grab this brush. Let's just try to brush around this shell here along with the shadow. And I'll go ahead and do something like that. Then we're going to click erase and go ahead and see what kind of results we get. So again, how well uh, of a job this does is sometimes going to depend on how, you know, detailed the subject is. Uh, but with this sand here, I expected it to do a good job because this isn't really overly complicated, but we see it has not done a great job there. You can just tell that this sand does not have the same dark texture pattern. Uh, and so you can tell that this is sort of a fake area created by AI because this doesn't quite match the scene. Uh, so let me hit control Z to undo that. Now I'm going to try the same thing because I said, remember, you have the magic eraser, but remember this magic grab tool is essentially doing the same thing. So let's come in here with the magic grab. I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to brush around an area here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to click grab. And we're going to let it process it. So in the same way, we're doing the same sort of thing, but I'm just comparing the two results uh, that we get. Because as I've mentioned, sometimes I find that this magic grab does an even better job. So for this reason, I don't actually use the magic eraser tool a ton. And if we look at that and we zoom in on that, I think there's a little bit of a soft focus but it actually did a much better job. Now you can tell the focus here. See, see what I mean? How this is soft focus. I don't know if you can see that super well during the recording, but there's definitely a soft focus here. So it didn't work perfectly with the magic grab, but it did work better than when I had used that uh, magic erase tool. So again, you have both of these tools available to you. You're going to have to try it out and see which works better. Personally, I kind of feel like I'm getting better results from magic grab. So I don't know that I'm going to use the magic eraser ton, but there is one area, uh, one instance where I do use, do use the magic eraser. We've seen it once already uh, in a prior lesson, but I'll show you again just to remind you of something else to be aware of this tool. But first, let's just run another example. So here, let's try one that's a little bit more complicated here. We have an entire subject here. Let's say I just wanted the beach scene. Let's see if I can take this woman out. So again, click on her, uh, click on the edit tool, come out under this magic eraser. Again, sometimes if you just hit click, it's going to find the subject. So let's just try clicking on that to find the subject and we're just going to erase and see how it does replacing an entire subject from our scene. So we're hoping that it puts sand here and then does a decent job with the water line and then also the skyline here. And if we let that complete here, uh, it's still processing, but it looks like basically it's done. So that has actually done a really good job. Again, maybe a little bit of soft focus, but the, the soft, uh, the focus in the scene was kind of soft to begin with. So that actually looks pretty good. And I think for most purposes, you're not going to notice 
uh, that this isn't the original photo. So sometimes does a good job, uh, sometimes not so good. Let's try one more just to see. Let's say maybe with this photo here, let's say we wanted to get rid of these uh, two subjects in the background. Uh, it might be a little complicated because there's a shadow to get rid of too, but let's just give it a try. So let me come in here and again, select this. We'll select edit. We're going to choose this uh, magic eraser. Uh, we're going to come in here. We're going to up this brush size. Let's get rid of all of this. Let's get rid of her over here. Uh, and again, you are going to want to get rid of reflections and shadows. So when, when you're using a tool like this uh, on things like this, remember, you got to pay attention to things like reflections and shadows as well when you take a subject out because you don't want to have those there if you don't actually have the subject. Now, it might be a little tricky here when we come in close and we'll see how it handles this area here. But I'm just going to do that. And let's just go ahead and erase and see what kind of result you get. Again, you are going to have to experiment around and figure out how far you can push this tool. And you can see this did actually quite a bad job. Now, let me go back and let me hit Control Z to undo that. Let's try this where we again, instead of using the magic race tool, let's use this magic grab tool. And I actually might take it in stages where I do the subjects first and then the shadow and reflections later. Uh, but let's go back and this time let's choose magic grab. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and let it process. Uh, and it did find these two subjects, so I'll go ahead and click this subject. I'm going to click this one as well to have select them both. And then uh, I'm not going to try to do it all at once. I'm just going to start by removing the subjects. If it doesn't a reasonable job with those, I may continue on to get rid of the shadow and reflection. If it doesn't do a bad job, we just know this photo is maybe too complicated for these tools. But let's still try this magic grab tool and see what kind of results. Now remember, the magic eraser did actually quite a poor job. But if we remove this out of the way, already we can see we're off to a much, much better start because that actually did a really good job taking them out. Uh, before we had sort of these artifacts and this residue, it just did not work. But now suddenly we have uh, a better result. Now, with a lot of these tools, you can run them twice. We've already run the Magic Grab tool, but we can continue to run them on the updated photo here. So this time, let's come in here and we're not going to be able to use this uh, click uh, again. Well, actually, if we see this, we actually can click on this. So it did actually find this. It did actually find this. Uh, so we could try to brush this as well. So let's try to do it all. But I will remind you and say that sometimes if you do a larger area and it's just not doing a good job, you can try to break it apart into steps and do one step and then the other step because you can run this multiple times. But let's try that and go ahead and again use this grab tool. Uh, so... I know we're talking about the magic eraser and here I am reverting back to the magic grab, but that's just to point out to you that I do think this tool essentially can do the same thing uh, and it does a better job. So if I delete that there, then see suddenly we've taken them out of our scene. It's done a really good job. And I don't know if you remember, but when we use the magic eraser, it did not do a good job. So a magic eraser versus magic grab, you're just gonna have to play around and see which tool gives you a better result. I am finding that the magic grab does a really good job a lot of the times where the magic eraser doesn't get the job done. So keep that in mind as you decide how much you want to actually try to use this tool. Now, I know I've been talking up the magic grab tool as perhaps working better sometimes, but I don't mean to say never try this tool. The magic eraser still is something good to try very quickly when you're trying to get rid of distractions. Uh, so just as an example here, let's come in here. Let's real quick grab this magic eraser. So we can come in here real quick. Let's make our brush size a little bit bigger. I'm just going to paint over this text here, pretending like the word distractions is the distraction we're trying to get rid of. So we come in here and maybe real quick run something like this and I'll go ahead and click erase. So it is a really quick way to try something when you're trying to do a little touch up on a photo just to maybe get rid of a distracting area of the photo. So we can see it did a good job replacing that. So again, a magic grab sometimes uh, is gonna do a better job for complicated things, but other times you can just try this real quick just to see what kind of result you wanna get. So just trying to eliminate distractions on photos, it still can be a quick way to try something and do a good job. Now it didn't do perfect up here, but of course I can do another area and just run it again. So again, you can run this multiple times. If you get something close, sometimes you can do it again. If you get something really bad, sometimes you might want to use that undo, control Z to step backwards to get a better result. Again, that wasn't perfect there. But let's just look at another, a uh, couple other photos here, trying to get rid of distractions. So this one here, real quick, I might say this in the background, that's pulling sort of focus away from my subject here because it's bright and sort of drawing the viewer's eye. So real quick, I'll come in here, magic eraser, 
real quick we'll just grab uh, an eraser brush and come in here like this like that and again erase again just with the idea of using a tool really quickly to potentially remove a distraction from a photo that's the type of thing where i like to use magic eraser now it didn't work perfectly there on the edges so i could try a little bit better again just see if i can get it to blend a little bit better again sometimes you are going to get that soft focus and it's not going to match perfectly so this tool is a little hit or miss again soft focus there so not perfect uh, again right here let's say on this photo uh, this bracelet sort of pulling uh, distraction a little bit is a little bit distracting I find so let's come in here real quick let's come in here and use the magic eraser we'll try to get this area here see if we can get rid of that just so it doesn't draw the viewer's eye also maybe there's a little bruise on her arm here so we'll go like that just trying to do some quick touch up again magic eraser a quick tool to try for these kinds of distractions did a good job here uh, not perfect over here let's just run it again real quick erase so again try it run it again see what kind of results you get if you get stuck you can also try that magic grab tool uh, so let me just show you one final thing one final instance where the magic eraser tool can be helpful and can work a little different so let's look at this example here now uh I might not want to remove these long tails because that's probably factually correct for these birds but just imagine this was some sort of distracted area uh, some kind of area I did want to remove the way the magic eraser works is if I click on it and I come in here and I use the magic eraser it's not actually just erasing to transparency it's coming in here and it's replacing these pixels with other pixels to try to match other parts of the scene so if I come like that and I come like this let me get a little bit more there and erase then it yes it's going to try to get rid of those pixels but then it's going to replace them with other pixels well okay it did a, a decent job missed a little bit there I could run it again but let me actually step back and uh, let's cancel out of this hit control Z to undo that if I were to come in here and just remove the background first so if you take a photo and remove the background to where there's suddenly a bunch of transparency in the uh, photo so now we have this subject isolated with lots of transparent pixels so the background shows through now if I come in here and now I use the magic eraser now suddenly it works a little different because now all the surrounding areas are transparent areas so if I come in here now and I re erase this area it's going to erase the transparency so now it's sort of like we actually are using an eraser where we can just erase portions of our scene maybe I want to make the stick shorter here so I can go like that and now watch what happens if I run this magic eraser we'll see that it doesn't replace those pixels with other pixels to match the scene it actually just erases those so now another way we can sort of trick the tool or get it to work differently because we've changed it first by making some transparency within the photo and now when we erase areas around that transparency they're going to sort of erase the transparency so now we're actually getting rid of pixels it's working like an eraser so this is also a helpful thing because there are some instances where that's going to be helpful I don't know if you remember that drop shadow was creating when I had the hand over the globe and we wanted to have the drop shadow but it was showing beyond the globe we wanted to sort of bring that in some that's where we use the magic eraser in this way so magic eraser another tool you have here in the magic studio another one of these AI tools uh, be careful sometimes you can just get better results with the magic grab sometimes it doesn't work perfectly and you get that soft focus but there are times where it's great re for removing distractions and you also if you have transparency in your photo then you can actually just erase pixels so this is the magic eraser tool in Canva give it a try and see what you think